this thing on. There we go. We're here in Landlock, Colorado. Teaching kids to scuba dive and the importance of marine science and ocean conservation. Through a scholarship of a lifetime. We're going to go through the submissions. So, yes. uh, you guys ready to look at some videos? Absolutely. Cool. All right, let's get after it. When Matt first shared his idea for the Arising Tide web series with me, I thought, what better way to engage kids right here in our backyard about the ocean and relevant conservation issues? It's a documentary series about three Colorado students learning to scuba dive and getting a hands-on introduction to marine science. Marine science is incredibly important and enormously undervalued and very rarely taught in public schools. And so it's really exciting to see these students get an opportunity to not only delve into a new experience, but into an incredible array of marine content, marine science content. One thing that I think is really important is bringing youth, bringing the kids into the underwater world, really onboarding this next generation and empowering them with the tools that they need and the knowledge they need to be the heroes of tomorrow when it comes to marine conservation. So we started putting together a plan to have kids share their passion with us and tell us why they should be chosen for this scholarship opportunity. We got dozens of video submissions poured through it for hours and had a really tough time selecting just a few winners to share this opportunity with. When I was younger, I participated in two farm schools and an outdoor survival program. I just can't get enough of this incredible world we live in. The ocean is such an amazing place with all of its life inside of it. I want others to view the ocean through my experiences. I want them to see how garbage affects the ocean. Please give me this opportunity. Kids' voices need to be heard. Oh, I love it. Yeah. That was so genuine. Uh, yeah. Choosing the final winners was a challenge. It was really difficult. Every time I thought we found the one, the best kid of the bunch, here came another and another. So as we neared the end of our session, we had narrowed it down from 30 applicants to eight finalists. It's mind-boggling to me that we only explored 5% of the ocean and we don't even we know more about the space than we do of our own bodies of water. Since I was nine, I've wanted to be a marine biologist. I know for 100% that marine science will help make my future brighter. We are unaware of the damages we are causing in the ocean and how it's affecting all life in it. The ocean means a lot to me and it's a very magical and mysterious place. It's so undiscovered and I want to learn more about it. It's an incredible, thriving ecosystem, completely dependent on factors that we learn about and study here on land. Should we do one more? Yes. Let's do it. And what's cool is, it's kind of like life. You can't really see everything about it from the surface, but the deeper you go in, the more you just explore and realize. I think I would be great I'm getting for this kind function. of like misty-eyed watching this. It's so cool to see these yeah. guys getting so excited over it. It was a very, very sweet one. I love how they're all kind of identified, like, since this age, I, you know, yeah. nine years old or ten or whatever it was, that I've wanted to be a marine biologist and I want to make a difference in the world. And grabbing some of that ownership of your place in the world at that age. Uh, what do you think, Matt? Um, Any uh, thoughts on her? I love that she was speaking off the cuff. That shows a lot. That's a really great quality because as we go through this, no one's going to be scripted. You know, and you have to be able to be really comfortable with just talking. At the end of the day, it really came down to which of these kids really had the passion and the inspiration factor. I would have liked to see more just face in the camera. This is why I'm passionate about the ocean. I don't even need a script. That handheld in the face, connecting right with that lens and just saying, hey, this is me. This is why I love the ocean. This is why I would be the best candidate for you to choose. To have somebody who's maybe even never seen the ocean or never in the wildest stream thought that they could be a part of a program like this. That's the one that 
I want. We really have to keep in mind always what this show is really about. I mean, it's about creating these this future generation right. of leaders. So it's a matter of do they stand out as somebody who can really potentially like take this and run with it. When it came down to it, we had to choose the person that we thought would really resonate with the audience. And now we have chosen three kids who would otherwise not have been able to have this experience to learn to scuba dive, learn about the ocean, and to go be able to experience it themselves firsthand. What a cool opportunity. Tough decision. There are so many good applicants. It's hard to only choose three. So at that point, Graham stepped it up and suggested that Ocean First could offer an additional partial scholarship to five more students. So we have our three full scholarship winners and five more partial scholarship winners that are going to be rounding out our Rising Tide team. You guys happy with our selection? I am. I think we have a great group. So we just need to confirm schedules and get busy, get diving. Yeah, this is going to be exciting. I'm excited. Thanks again. It was a great, great session. Nice awesome. All right. Next episode, wait till you see who gets chosen for the three scholarship spots.